Adenotrophimonas maltophilia is an aerobic, non-fermentative, gram-negative bacterium. It is an uncommon bacterium and human infection is difficult to treat. Initially classified as Pseudomonas maltophilia, S. maltophilia was also grouped in the genus Xanthomonas before eventually becoming the type species of the genus Stenotrophimonas in 1993. S. maltophilia is slightly smaller than other members of the genus. They are motile due to polar flagella, and grow well on McConkey agar producing pigmented colonies. S. maltophilia is catalase positive, oxidase negative and has a positive reaction for extracellular dnase. S. maltophilia is ubiquitous in aqueous environments, soil, and plants. It has also been used in biotechnology applications. In immunocompromised patients, S. maltophilia can lead to nosocomial infections. Pathogenesis, S. maltophilia frequently colonizes breathing tubes such as endotracheal or tracheostomy tubes, the respiratory tract and indwelling urinary catheters. Infection is usually facilitated by the presence of prosthetic material, and the most effective treatment is removal of the prosthetic material. The growth of S. maltophilia in microbiological cultures of respiratory or urinary specimens is therefore sometimes difficult to interpret and not a proof of infection. If, however, it is grown from sites which would be normally sterile, then it usually represents true infection. In immunocompetent individuals, S. maltophilia is a relatively unusual cause of pneumonia, urinary tract infection, or bloodstream infection. In immunocompromised patients, However, S. maltophilia is a growing source of latent pulmonary infections. S. maltophilia colonization rates in individuals with cystic fibrosis have been increasing. Treatment S. maltophilia is naturally resistant to many broad spectrum antibiotics due to the production of two inducible chromosomal metal OI squared lactamases. This makes treatment of infected patients very difficult. S. maltophilia is ubiquitously present in the environment and impossible to eradicate, which makes prevention also extremely difficult. Sensitivity testing requires non-standard culture techniques. Testing at the wrong temperature results in isolates being incorrectly reported as being susceptible when they are in fact resistant. Disc diffusion methods should not be used, as they are unreliable, and agar dilution should be used instead. S. maltophilia is not a virulent organism and removal of the infected prosthesis is frequently sufficient to cure the infection. Antibiotics are only required if the prosthesis cannot be removed. Many strains of S. maltophilia are sensitive to cotrimoxazole and tocacillin, though resistance has been increasing. It is not usually susceptible to piperacillin, and susceptibility to ceftazidime is variable. Teacycline is also an effective drug. Polymyxin B may be effective treatment, at least in vitro, though not without frequent adverse effects. Epidemiology Stenotrophimonas infections have been associated with high morbidity and mortality in severely immunocompromised and debilitated individuals. Risk factors associated with stenotrophimonas infection include HIV infection, malignancy, cystic fibrosis, neutropenia, mechanical ventilation central venous catheters, recent surgery, trauma, and broad-spectrum antibiotic use. References External links, Stenotrophimonas multophilia article at eMedicine. The genus Stenotrophimonas, Stenotrophimonas Genome Projects from Genomes Online Database, 1. Relevance to Cystic Fibrosis, Effect of Different Antibiotics Egg Minor Cycline, Teak Cycline. JAC 2002 Correspondence